is Lexington, Kentucky. Good times. Great time. We had a really nice time here. We stayed at the Kentucky Horse Park campground. We highly, highly recommend it. It's a huge campground. The spots are amazing. We were right by the playground. They have a pool. Probably the biggest highlight of the whole, definitely the biggest highlight of the whole trip was that we got to see um, Doug and Kelly the whole time. Like every, every single night. day we were here, they came over and hung out with us. <laughs> they, she did an overnight we with did Uncle a, Doug and Aunt Kelly and that was really, really special for us and special for them, so it was wonderful. We're free! Ah, Uncle Doug and Aunt Kelly are watching the baby and they gave us a night out. So we are in Lexington, ready Raging. to explore. And so Jen and I got to go out on the town and really see Lexington, which was super fun. And Kelly got us into the YMCA for a day to use the pool and it had a big water slot. We are on a bike ride in Kentucky. This is really big for us. There's, it's called the Legacy Trail and it goes from the campground all the way downtown. Great news, we found the trail and I just talked to some people who confirmed that if we stay on this, we'll get back to the horse park. It was so perfect, nicely paved, great for bikes. Yeah, and we had some neighbors oh, next we met door. The neighbors, which were really cool. And from now, we're going to Cincinnati. Going right? to Cincinnati to see Grandma Lovey and maybe get a hot brown on the way. Uh. sandwich that we've heard so much about. We're going to talk about Cincinnati. We had a uh, tornado scare. Did you forget about that? Oh no, I did not forget about that. But oh, we are in the shelter of the KOA in Lebanon. Wall right now. Okay. Right in here. We realize we don't have radios. We have alerts turned off on our phone and we don't watch cable TV, we don't get news alerts like that. And so we um, crawl into bed and then we hear these sirens going off. So we were able to get in um, to the back of the laundry room and everyone was friendly and um, we actually ended up next to one of the women who worked there. She gave, gave Ever this little truck here to play with and she let her keep it, which was really nice because it was late and um, fortunately we only had to spend about 30 minutes in there and then we got to go back. They lifted the warning. The threat has gone away. We're cleared. We're all cleared to go back to our campers. So we're walking back in the rain. Um, but it was pretty scary. We, you know, not really knowing what's going on and if there is a tornado when you travel in an RV. I think we're on the tornado way too long. It's We had a great time in Cincinnati. Really, really great time. We stayed at the KOA in Lebanon. KOA Lebanon, Lebanon. Yes, yes. And we got to hang out with your grandma Lovey yes, a we lot. Got to see grandma Lovey. So it was really great that she. And she was over. an amazing sport. We took her on some adventures. She hung out with us all day. At the time you guys were here and Armco was, was yeah. flying high, was this downtown like buzzing with activity and restaurants All right, and stuff? that was a bank, the bank over there, a bank here, the electric company there. Big businesses. No longer, no banks, no jewelry, and then it was a jewelry store, then no jewelry store. I'm like, wait, you hung out with her more than me, and I realized why, because Nick came. Yeah. So this was the, that was all the pins. <laughs> so this was the t case where Nick flew out from Tampa, Florida uh, to hang out for a day, and I hadn't seen Nick in like 15 years. Yeah. Um, and that was great, and so 
we kind of caught up and then honestly we've pretty much been talking every day since then. <laughs> Armstrong, first man to walk on the moon. Who lived in Lebanon. Lived in Lebanon. Lebanon was right outside of Cincinnati. 